How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and it's gonna be my prediction on the next six master set player items in the Nations of Hockey event, a two week event. So these are gonna be the final six ones from this event. And it's just fun to do these little predictions and let me know who you guys think are gonna get them. But hope you guys do enjoy and make sure you leave a like, subscribe if not already, and let's hop into the video right now. Starting off with Tim Stutzler from Team Germany. I think Germany's gotta get a card. Dry settle's possible, but I'm gonna go with Tim Stutzler, all right? So Stutzler, he's got some cards here, and uh, he could be a very nice card, actually. So his highest rated card's an 86 overall right now, and here's what it looks like. So he's got 89 acceleration and 89 speed. So it's not a straight plus three as well. It's gonna be a custom build card. So this Stutzler, Stutzler card could have like 92, 93 speed, potentially. Uh, Shot could be like 94, you never know. But Stutzler would be a very good one. Probably wouldn't be, though, because he's a playmaker, so they probably make him more really good hands, I'm sure, like really good passing stats and deking, but uh, Tim Slitzel, I think, would be a very good option. It makes sense. Germany probably will get one. Uh, Russia will not get one. I don't think they really give Russia cards out during, obviously, what's going on in, in the world. But Tim Slitzel, six foot one ninety three, left handed centerman. Uh, so many pred predictions you could have for him. What abilities he'd have. I mean, tape to tape would make sense, right? Uh, yeah, I, th I think Tim Slitzel certainly would make a lot of sense. We'll see if that's the case. But for me, he's my team Germany prediction. And for Winnipeg, I'm gonna go with Ehlers, right? So 87 overall, Nikolai Ehlers, six foot 169, left-handed. So he'd be absolutely sick. His speed would be crazy, crazy, crazy good. So at 87 overall, he's got 92 speed and excel. I'm sure they'd make sure his 89 would have like 95 probably, which would be absurd. His shot's good, typically too. So I think Ehlers, he'd be, yeah, he'd have a good, probably a good ability. Maybe like Heat Seeker, Snipe. One of those would make a lot of sense. Close quarters, right? But Ehlers, he'd be a lot of fun. Uh, I think it makes sense from Team uh, Denmark would be uh, would be Ehlers for sure. So I, I don't know, Ehlers. I, I, I think he'd be a fun card. I would like it personally. A lot of these are just kind of predictions and, and kind of cards that I'd like to see as well. I mean, the, it's just a, it's a fun little video here. Don't take it too seriously. It's kind of what I like to do with it, but. I think Ehlers, uh, it makes sense. I, I think they try to get as many countries involved as possible. I know last year they had Latvia as well. Uh, they have a lot of different countries involved. So we'll see if they do that again. But Nikolai Ehlers for me would be my uh, my prediction from Team De Team Denmark. So we'll see if that's the case. This would be an unbelievable card. You know, that'd be Uri Slavkoski. Slavkoski would be an unbelievable card. And the reason why I say that is his size. Slavkoski, 6'3", 238. He's a big boy. Uh, and he's got pretty decent skating. It'd be a custom build card, but imagine they made his card like 6'3", 238, like 91 speed or something. Oh, that'd be a broken card. I understand not wanting to trade in a lot of assets because Team of the Year is, you know, coming right up next week at this point, but that would be phenomenal, guys. That'd be absolutely phenomenal if uh, he could get one Slavkowski. It makes sense, too. They want to get Slovakia involved. Uh, there's a, they're gonna go Char too. I was thinking about saying Char, guys, but do they really want to add Char into the game? I don't know. That would be a little bit maybe too broken at this point. It's December 28th, 29th tomorrow. Let's not have broken cards right before Team of the Year. The Team of the Year card's gonna be broken as it is, right? But I was thinking about uh, thinking about Char as well as a potential Slovak Slovakia account. And I know last year they had uh, Simone Nemitz, which is really cool for me as a Devils fan. But uh, we'll see who, who they go with. But Slavkowski would be my prediction and my guess for Team Slovakia and one of the other MSP cards. Also, thing, guys, they're probably going to re-release re another country. So uh, I'm thinking they'll probably do Canada and America again if they're going to do those. So going for Team America... I'm going to go with a classic and a very good defender, Ryan McDonough. I think Ryan McDonough would make a lot of sense. Uh, where is he at these days? Well, 79 overall. Ryan McDonough has fell off plus ratio, but 6 1, 2 15, left handed D man here. McDonough, he always plays well in game. Again, he got optimal size for a D man. I would say 6 1 is very, very solid. Uh, he'd be a nice card, probably more defensive. He's a two-way guy, but more of a defensive guy, I would say, is what Ryan McDonough is and has been in his career. Uh, and for Team USA, he's a great player. He's been on the he's been on the Olympics for uh, for Team USA as well, so he's definitely lore behind Ryan McDonough and Team USA. So he's just my prediction. You need D-men involved here as well. Can't be all forwards, right? That would not make much sense. But uh, for me, Ryan McDonough would be a guy that I think is seriously a possibility for a Team USA card. Team Canada, I'm gonna go with John Tavares. All right, so John Tavares. I believe he got a hockey roots card back in NHL 22 it was which uh, you know interesting interesting uh, event that was and you can say, oh, well, he's probably not going to get another one. Well, he could. You never know. So John Tavares, 6'1", 216, left-handed centerman. He'd be a good card, though. He really would. Uh, the only thing that would be kind of holding him back is this, maybe his skating, potentially. Tavares is obviously not the fastest skater in real life either, so it's not really shocking. But I think Tavares would be a nice card. Great shot he would have. Great face-offs, I'm sure. They'd give him two, probably 99 face-offs on Tavares. They'd probably want to make that card, you know, viable, right? But uh, Tavares, I think, is a guy for Team Canada that makes a lot of sense. 
has won gold there with Canada as well. So for me, John Tavares is the person that I would go with here for Team Canada. And then we got one more player here and it was tough. It was really tough to come up with a guy, but this is a guy that I think would be cool and always a great card in Hut. Oliver Ekman Larsen. Ekman Larsen plays fantastic in Hut. For Team Sweden, 6'2", 200 pound, left-handed D-man here. 86 speed and 86 excel and 82 overall, by the way. Ekman Larsen skating is something that always kind of, what I, what I always remember from his cards back in the day. And that's something that always was such a benefit to him. His size and his skating was always unreal for like a lower overall card. Like you'd have Ekman Larson like 84 overall and he'd have like 90 speed back in like NHL 20 and NHL 21 for some reason. He's always so fast, always so good. Uh, and for me, Oliver Ekman Larson would be a really good option for Team Sweden. And I'd really like him as a card here uh, for the event. And I'm not sure if they're going to release more World Junior players, but probably not. I think, it's, I think they already released all the players that are currently playing in the tournament right now and pretty much uh, the guys uh, that are in the game, right, they actually have rights to. Because Team USA, unfortunately, they don't have many rights to because a lot of the guys that they're playing are in college. So that's the unfortunate thing with Team USA. You can't really have too many guys uh, there, like Seamus Casey, for example, right? But yeah, that's my prediction for all of the cards for tomorrow. Who do you guys think are going to get cards? I mean, it's just a little fun video for predictions. You don't take it too seriously. Uh, my predictions, again, are Germany, Tim Slitza, Ehlers for Denmark, Slavkowski for Slo uh, Slovakia, funny enough, Ryan McDonough, USA, John Tavares for Canada, and Oliver ekman Larson for Team Sweden. Let me know who you guys think it's going to be tomorrow, and uh, I'm getting very, very excited uh, to see Team of the Year next week as well. I'll have another video out probably later tonight as well, so uh, stay tuned for that. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. I, again, just a little prediction video. I know maybe not the greatest content uh, for you guys, but whatever, you know, I'm, I'm just thinking this is what I want to upload. That's what I want to make. That's what, that's what all YouTube's about, right? I should try to make what I want to make and what I enjoy making. But I should have another video out later tonight, as I mentioned, probably 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock Eastern. Might, might be a little, little bit of a gameplay, uh, you know, video. I haven't really made a gameplay video in a while, I feel like, so I'm sure you guys some good gameplay action. But thanks so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrique, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And be sure to join the Discord, talk to me, followers, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.